What's up, guys? It's me, your badass here, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon X walkthrough. Yes, it's been a long, 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 long time. A long, 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 long time. And yeah, I may have gotten lazy and stopped recording the last few episodes of Pokemon X, but we're going to get through this right now since I am on my week off, and yeah, you know... What a better week to do this on my week off. And, uh, well, the first few things that we're going to be doing right here is we're going to be going back to Kilud City in order to open up a few things, you know, needed to get to the Looker event. Now, if you guys may have remembered, after waking up, after winning the Pokemon League, you are given a starter Pokemon. You are, uh, you know, celebrated as a champion and all that stuff. And uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, yeah. And you get a ticket to go to Kilood City. Now, we didn't really do much except for a tour of Kilood City, but now it is time for us to actually move on and take a look at that whole place. Now, if you guys may have remembered in our last episode, we captured our good old buddy Mewtwo. And uh, it looks like to me, yeah. I got my old team back from Pokemon Fire Red, or no, not Fire Red, but Omega Ruby without their essential items. So we're just going to have to go naked on this whole thing right here. And uh, let's see. Okay, so why does Gaia... Oh, damn. Huh. Well, that's the case right there. So, uh, yeah. One thing's for sure. In our last episode of our Pokemon Fire or Omega Ruby walkthrough, we may or may not have, uh, you know traded Pokemon to, we may have traded Pokemon to, uh, you know, finish off the walkthrough and all that stuff. I may have traded this team to the other school or to the other version in order to actually defeat the Pokemon League. Now, that required me to deleting a few moves from the Pokemon because, uh, unfortunately, you cannot, yeah, you cannot trade Pokemon with HM moves from version to version because I think they, they do vary and all that stuff. So, that's what we're going to do right now is, uh... I'm gonna keep an eye on for my Pokemon right here. Let's see. Okay, so Godzilla 3, you got Fly. And it looks like Kakashi right here needs Surf, or else I'm. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, I'm probably mistaken, but yes, Kakashi does need Surf right here. Uh, let's see. Now, some of you guys are wondering why I didn't. Uh continue this Pokemon walkthrough or finish it off like I said I would. It's very simple, guys. Uh, we were heading towards the very end, or we were heading towards my 10th anniversary, and the plan was to go with Pokemon Sun and Moon. Unfortunately, we couldn't do it because at the time, I didn't know what to do. I had an old computer. Didn't necessarily work out, and uh, yeah, we just up and went straight to the Gala region, which we are finishing right now. And that left Pokemon uh, X and Y uh, pretty much stagnant right there. It, it, yeah, I do apologize again, guys, for, for all that stuff. But that's what happened. And, uh, yeah, the last few episodes of Pokemon X were not completed. Now we are here. And don't need a repel. Now, what we need to do is we actually need to get to the train station in order to uh, get to Kilood. Or actually, you know what? What the hell did I? What the hell am I doing? See, this is what happens when you leave for a long time. You can actually use, you can actually use Fly to get down there. So, that's what we're going to do now. If you guys are noticing a little something right here, it is that I am actually using my 3DS uh, wired capture card in order to record this episode right here. Now, another reason to why I, why I, I stopped recording stuff on Pokemon X is because for some odd reason my computer or no for uh my internet right here at home just got slower weak defense and all that stuff i'm pretty sure somebody hacked me or something i don't even know but uh whenever i tried recording it through the wireless capture card it just it was slow so as soon as i found out how to use this capture card um again you know we it, it just got me thinking that you know this is a this is a walkthrough that I need to finish just so I can get you guys going up again for Pokemon X. Now what we're going to be doing here is we're gonna going uh, we're gonna be going to the Pokemon ma Mansion right here I think the Battle Mansion. Yeah, hold on just a sec. Yes, the Battle Mansion right here. Now or Battle Maison. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be battling five times and then we're gonna be battling our girlfriend one last time because uh, yeah. We need to. We, they, we, 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 need a, we need a closure in all this stuff right here. So, let's go right ahead and talk to this lady right here. 
Welcome to the Battle Maison. I'm the receptionist. What would you like to do today? Let's go ahead and go for a challenge. And for right now, let's go with a single battle. Do not want to do anything else. Now, all our Pokemon are going to be modified to level 50. And, well, let's see. Let's go with in our party right here because we cannot use any of our Pokemon right now. So, let's go with our three best Pokemon. Kakashi, Goku, and Godzilla 3. Actually, you know what? Yeah, you know what? Let's go with this one right here. Let's confirm it. Alright, let's go ahead and save this and see how we do right here. Now, there is one little thing about this is that uh, because, because my internet went so screwy and all that stuff, I was forced to actually transfer my Pokemon to my Pokemon uh, box, I believe. Not my Pokemon box, the, the app for, for uh, Pokemon storage. And, well... Unfortunately, that took away their held items and all that stuff. So, uh, sooner rather, or sooner rather than later, I'm going to actually have to get those things back from the Pokemon. Just so they can Mega Evolve and all that crud. Because the last few episodes require a little bit of attention right here. Now, as you can see, this Rattata is kicking my butt. But guess what? I'm doing the whole Dragon Claw because we are stronger than a pre-evolved Pokemon. Now, in this kind of version of battling, we are not allowed to, uh, we are not allowed to switch out Pokemon. You switch out Pokemon, you lose a turn. It's it's pretty simple as that. But as you can see, I actually equipped my Godzilla number three to three different uh, to pretty uh, good moves right here. And hopefully, this right here, this Flare Blitz, will actually defeat this Flabebe. And that takes care of Flabebe right there. Now, what you need to do right here is you actually have to fight five times, then interrupt in order to go into the next. Uh, situation of this whole this whole thing right here so as you can see we defeated uh the first person we're getting our pokemon healed we get one battle point which is great and yes we're gonna keep on battling all right i'm a hero i refuse to lose okay all righty and of course i do have a lot of uh well my phone is going off yeah whatever so, anywho, guys, uh, let's see. Is there anything I need to talk about now that we are finally getting done with Pokemon X? Uh, not really. There really isn't a lot to talk about, guys. Uh, all I could say is that, yeah, I failed to upload these last few episodes last year, uh, mainly because I got a little lazy and all that stuff. That's pretty much what it is. That's pretty much what it comes down to, guys. That I got a little lazy. And, uh, well, you know, that usually happens when you're getting a little too excited for the next Pokemon walkthrough. Now, again, my initial plan was to go to Pokemon Sun and Moon. What stopped that was that I was actually using an old computer, the very first computer I was using as Draven XC711, to actually try and record these, uh, these episodes as Pokemon Moon, and, uh, and it didn't work out. Just my computer just kept on screwing up. It was no good, um, and that literally forced me to just do Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield, which wasn't a bad, a bad thing at all because, as you can see, it it is coming out with, well, the walkthrough came out to be a very good success and all that stuff, and it's continuing to be a success. I've already recorded quite a few episodes on that, and, well, cannot wait to finish the first part of the, the, the whole walkthrough that way. I can move on and all that stuff. Of course, we are in 2021, and a lot has been, a lot has changed within the last few months. And look at that—we get ourselves another battle point. Let's go for battle number three. Now, a lot has changed. Of course, there has been an announcement of uh, three new games: uh, Pokemon, the new Pokemon Snap game. Actually, it's four new games: the new Pokemon Snap game, which came out a few days ago, prior to this recording. Uh, Pokemon Arceus, which is, I believe, a prequel to the the, the new Pokemon, uh, what was it? The new Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, uh, series that is coming out pretty soon here. Don't remember the names. See, that's what happens when you have, uh, when you, when you get hit in the head too much. You just don't remember and all that stuff. And, of course, look at this. We're just getting, uh, blocked and everything. God dang, computer. 
I can't see what I'm seeing. Okay, there we go. And where in the heck are we? Okay, so that kind of paused a little. Let's go with an earthquake attack right now. And look at that. Drowsy survives. And it is now using a reflect attack. Or no, a light screen. So let's go straight for a physical attack. Flare Blitz would be a physical, I believe. Bam. And there you go. Drowsy is no more. And Godzilla just gets a little bit of recoil. So who is next? Boldor is here. It is a rock-type Pokemon, so I will not have any issues with using a, uh, well, an earthquake attack right here. And, well, laying it the smack it down. It makes my Godzilla faint. God dang it. No problem. Coming out with Goku. One of my favorite Pokemon right here. Alrighty, let's go right ahead and use the close combat attack just to make things... Yes, even him out. Look at that. Oh, yes. Okay, alrighty. And, well, Bulldor, no more. And here... Well, he's coming out with a Meryl, so this right here is going to be a little easy. I believe Meryl's a Fairy-type Pokemon, too, right? And it is a Fairy-type Pokemon, and there goes Meryl, also known as Pika Blue. And look at that. We... We get, we're victorious yet again, so I believe that's our third battle. Now, let's see. Look at that, we're getting healed again. And that's a, it's another battle point that we could use to spend. And yes, we're going to be going to... We're going to be taking on the fourth trainer right here. And homie here is like, I've been studying every day. So I'm taking a break for a change. Kind of like what I'm doing right now. Now... I have posted it up onto my, uh, oh crap, I have posted it up onto my, uh, my page right here. This is my week off from, uh, from work, everything related to work. I've finally, like, I've completed one football season, and I do have a bye week this week for the other football season, but the other thing too is I am actually taking a week off from work just to focus on this and to relax a little. If you guys remember, back in January, or back in March, holy crud, everything started, and then the videos lessened and lessened. And I do apologize for that, guys. Priorities come first, and my priorities came in and kicked in pretty hard. But luckily for me, I have uh, came out of it one, like, I came out of it alive. And that's, that's why I'm recording all these episodes for you guys. That way you guys can have more content to watch and whatnot. And, well, this Poochiena is giving me a bit of a... Yeah, he's giving me a little bit of a hassle right here. Good God. He's using that flinch. Oh, crud. Come on. Here we go. Dragon Claw finishes Poochiana off. Say goodbye to little Poochiana. Now, is there something else that needs to be, uh, that, that's going to come up? Maybe. Uh, believe it or not, there's a fall season coming up, guys. And I'm, I'm recording just in case for this one right here, too. The fall season, because... As we as we already seen, it football took a lot of my time and a lot of stress and a lot of you know hours spent. Yeah, we 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 definitely need to like cool it down just a tad bit when it comes to like stressing out and whatnot. And well, look at this, we get another battle point, and we are gonna be facing one more trainer right here. Yes. Okay. So, hi, honey. Welcome, welcome. Have you decided uh, what you'll have? The hell. You mean like food? I kind of, I, I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so she's a waitress and she's talking about food. Okay. I thought she was talking about something else. But anywho, a lot of stress, guys. Lots and lots of stress. But I'm uh, stress-free right now. So here we go with the blitz. A, um, a what you call it? A blitz. A fire blitz. Holy crud. And look at that. No more. And here she's coming out with a Gibble. So right now she's handing me the battle. Let's go with the Dragon Claw. Gibble, I am so sorry. But you're getting this Dragon Claw for the win. Buh bye bye Okay, alrighty. So here she comes with an... Oh, god dang. Another Poochiana. <sighs> okay. Let's go with the Fly Attack. More likely this guy's gonna... Yeah, scary face. And then try and bite me to flinch me and all that stuff. That just gets real annoying and... 
Look at that. We defeated uh, Pucci and... Uh, and, uh, well, that's another victory. And we have completed five battles right there, guys. Okay, so, after defeating five trainers, you are now enabled to face your rival one more time. And this actually opens up the next few events. Battle number six is coming up. Now, I'm going to interrupt right here because... Yes, I would like to interrupt. So, that is that right there, guys. Now... We are saving the game, and, well, let's go ahead and switch up our Pokemon. Now, if we remember correctly, this girl likes to use... She likes to be sneaky. Very, very sneaky. So, let's go right ahead and meet her up top. And right here, let's go ahead and go right down here. And here we are outside Kilud City, and, well, your girlfriend will be waiting for you up top right here near the little pond. Now, look at her. It's been a while. I am sorry, but I've been in Galler gawking at all the Galler women, too, because god damn. Mm, 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 but damn, it is good to see you again. Okay, so Serena's like, hey, Sensei! Will you, have a, uh, will you have a battle with me? I think you're in for a surprise. Sure, let's go right ahead. My Pokemon and I will show you what makes us special. You don't need to. Don't need to. I already see what's special right there. Okay, so here we are taking on... Pokemon trainer Serena and she has a full team of six right here and well as usual she will be coming out with a meow stick so I've prepared for you because yeah I don't want to be hypnotized or anything right here so let's go right ahead and use a dark pulse attack why would you use a fake out to make me flinch all right let's go dark pulse for the win look at that dark pulse does its trick meow stick no more. And, well, let's see. She's going to come out with a Clefable. Now, this Pokemon right here is a little bit of a tank. So, we're going to be switching it out to Goku. And I'm just now realizing that this Pokemon is also a Fairy-type Pokemon now that we are in, what, Generation 6. So, let's go right ahead and use a Poison Jabs right here. So, look at this. Poison Jabs nearly takes care of Clefable right there. One more time. Let's finish him off. Poison jabs yet again. Domination. Domination. Pure domination. Okay. Haven't missed a step, and Godzilla Godzilla grows to level 80. And well, she is gonna come out with a chestnut right here. Let's go right ahead and go with the man, the myth, the legend, Godzilla. Now, again, do not have the Mega Evolution stones because I transferred the Pokemon, not traded. And that means that I'm going to have to, like, get those items back somehow. And, well, let's go with the Fire Blitz. Oh, yes, Chestnut. Almost feels it. Survives, and here comes a... Oh, crud. A Body Slam, almost for the win. Does not paralyze me. I'm taking the next hit right here, so let's go with another fair Flare Blitz. And just like that, Chestnut has been defeated. Oh, yes. Okay, alrighty. And, well, let's see. Vaporeon will be coming out, so let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon to Fluvolt. It has been a while. We have just completed Pokemon Heart Gold, and Fluvolt did a, a stupendous job in that walkthrough as well. So, here we go. Fluvolt again, taking on this Vaporeon. Let's go. Discharge. Okay, alrighty. Look at this. Discharge. Nearly defeats this Vaporeon right here. And... Well, let's go ahead and uh, do that. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Well, easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Now, coming out with an Altaria. Let's go straight for Bonesaw. It has been a while again. I haven't seen you in quite some time, Bonesaw. It's nice. It is very, very nice to see you again. And, well, here she comes out with an Altaria. Let's go straight for an Outrage attack. Oh, yes. Very powerful. Look at this. You will not stop this guy. And that takes out Altaria. One, two, and three. Okay, alrighty. And Kakashi Hitake right here, level 78. Goku at level 76. And, well, she's going to come out with an Absol. Who 
does in five. Well, I, I would use guy number three, but it is weak against this guy. So let's go back to Goku. And without any Mega Evolutionary Stone, defeat this Absol. Look at that. She's coming out with an Absol. And, well, again. Hold on just a sec. Alrighty. There we go. Jeebus criminy. Alright, so here we go. Close combat. And, well, her, her Absol is reacting to the uh, Mega Evolutionary Stone right here. Looking like an Angel of Death with an Emo bang right there. But here comes... The close combat for the win. Say goodbye to Absol. And that is how you defeat your girlfriend once again. Okay. Alrighty. So, as you can see, I think about what you did well and use this loss to make me better. Yes. Oh, yes. Victorious yet again. Okay. Sensei, this is for you. And we get ourselves an Absolite so we can give it to Noob Saibot. That's right, I found two Absolites. I want to share one with you. Maybe it will help you uh, show or help show Lissandre there's something more to be helpful for. I have a message from Professor Sycamore. He says that he says he may have unraveled part of the secret of the Mega Ring and the Mega Stones. He should be waiting by the sundial in Anistar City. Okay, so the next part of this whole situation is that we have to go back to Anistar City. Now, if you guys remember, that is where we actually started the whole, you know, the whole, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, the events of the legendary Pokemon right here. Now, where is Anistar City? Is it right here? Okay, there it is. All you gotta do now is fly back and find Professor Sycamore, and then more events will happen pretty awesome events very very awesome events right here so let's go right ahead and find professor sycamore where is he oh wow lady you're in my way okay so haven't been to this place in quite some time after we defeated i think the psychic type tra trainer yeah so there he is waiting for us in the sundial and if you talk to him he'll be like why hello draven running around all over callus is actually rather tiring is it not Oh, yeah! I'm the one making you do that, aren't I? <laughs> Terribly sorry about that. Well, Serena may have already told you, but I found a way to power up the Mega Ring. Before we get to that, however, let's talk about Mega Stones briefly. My theory is that they are special stones uh, irradiated by the light, the energy of the legendary Pokemon Xerneas fired from the ultimate weapon 3,000 years ago. And, w and that's what I think they are. It's even possible the stones like fire stones were what turned into these mega stones. So what? What's the mega ring uh, do, uh, that you are holding? The mysterious stones transform feeling felt towards Pokemon into some kind of wavelength. The mega ring works in a similar way to how it, how this uh, object over here works. It's an object that changes sunlight into a mysterious light. For one hour starting at 8 p.m., this sundial starts emitting light. This mysterious object has towered over the city over 3,000 years. Its relationship to the Mega Ring isn't understood at all yet. Now, let's get down to the heart of the matter. Draven, try touching the sun, the, the sundial. Okay, I'm touching the sundial, and whoa. That is pretty cool right there. Okay. You were exposed to the legendary Pokemon's energy in Team Flare's secret HQ. And the Mega Ring has absorbed the power of the sundial. These two powers have combined to upgrade your Mega Ring. Now, it will react to the underground Mega Stones, but only when the Sundial is emitting light. I'm sure those stones hide in every corner of Kalos. Use this power to find them. Hmm. Okay. Alrighty, so... That is pretty much that, guys. I wanted to get this off because... In order to do the next few events... You need to complete all of this. Battle five trainers at the Battle Maison, battle your girlfriend, and then talk to Professor Sycamore. So in the next episode, guys, we're going to be properly finishing off this walkthrough by going through the Looker event. So thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.